Becca, this is a big fish. Becca, this is a big fish. What is going on? Oh my God. What is this, Becca? This is the big, uh, what is this? Dude, I don't know. What is this? God. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> What up, y'all? Welcome back. We are at the second spot for the day with Fishing with Becca, her brother Josh, in town from Rhode Island. They are from up north, man, but we got them down here in Texas to try and catch some bigs. We are literally heading to one of my favorite urban spots. Chances of getting kicked out are fairly high, but shh, keep that on the down low. We're taking a couple rigs, and we are going to go ahead and get to fishing, you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. See you in a second. I got to start filming, yo. What are you doing, Weston? What? Wasn't Nothing. filming? This is weird. Go to rod, don't snap when I bank flip these mo fives out here. <laughs> Devin's caught a five here and we were terrified. We were like, oh shit. Like it was, it was like really big. And I think she had 15 pound on there or something. So, and it was kind of like an expensive bait. Yeah. It is fairly deep. Yeah, that's the thing. You'll probably lose that at some point, which is fine. Yeah? Got him. I was not expecting that. That was fast. He's a good one too. Oh, Check him out. Like a three. Yeah, I think so. It might be. We better stop calling him early though, because you never. <laughs> you know what happens. Last time it was a, a three. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, that's a two. And three He's quarters. two and three quarters. Yeah. Two and three quarters. He's not, plump. Not a three, though. He's fat though, so that's good. All right, first fish at the second spot on the spinner bait on the zinger man. It's been windy as heck out there. There's like some major chop where it really opens up. This is just kind of the quiet corner. <sighs> Shad coloration though. I thought maybe it was a catfish. It started dogging right off the bat. It was heavy. I thought I thought I was like in a tree or something. Anyways, there you go, gang. Alrighty then, kid. We'll see ya. Yeah, <laughs> right off the bat, they're stacked. Oh, <laughs> this. <laughs> what did you catch? <laughs> no, freaking oh shit! <laughs> it's tank. I was like, damn, is he running? <laughs> This is why I don't throw crankbaits. Becca's <laughs> like, do I even have a fish on? <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, my pleasure. You want another crank? <laughs> Here, I'll work this side while you work that side, and then we can meet at the bridge. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Wow. Flawless victory. Did we knock it? Oh no, we did get, I mean, he was just much more mellow than usual. Yeah. Usually they like get out of the cars and are like, hey, you got it, blah, 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 da, da, da. Yeah. He's like, hey, no fishing here. I was like, no fishing? He's like, yeah, no fishing here. I was like, all right, we'll, we'll head out. You mean you didn't read all the signs? <laughs> so you just pressed it. I guess they're just over it these days. <laughs> I don't know if they're along the wall or in the middle or maybe not here, but, oh, psych. I literally just slow, like you can't go slow enough. That's a good one too for back here. I was just saying this spot's probably not good. <laughs> this uh, has potential to be my biggest of the day. It's got a small mouth though. I'm just getting fatter and fatter. Prominent lateral line though. Not like the, all oh, they were, they were so dull at the last spot. Like no pattern. Dum, 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 dum. Spinner bait action. Now she's throwing the northerner rig. She's rocking the drop shot. <laughs> in this crazy wind. I guess you can't tell too much back here, but it is windy. Anyways, that's the move, y'all. Half ounce, no trailer, YOLO. And look, although it was hooked pretty good, I shouldn't have probably just talked and let it sit there in the water because it had kind of a decent gash right there. That's why you got to keep your line tight, man. You cannot be giving these fish slack or they will just jump right off the hook. Do I want to get a little picture back here? I might just get a little picture. Let's just get a little picture. All righty, gang. Fish number two for me at the juicy spot let's keep working our way down the canal spinner bait crushing it just crushing it always good to check your line for phrase after you catch a handful of fish you never know when their teeth kind of like sandpaper might tear it up or uh fins as they're thrashing or just debris you might be cruising through so everything's feeling pretty good this is the shad and chartreuse right here by the way y'all half ounce all this gear you can grab on guggensquad.com the line the rod everything 10 percent off with code weston catch some lunkers this spring man fishing season is kicking in to effect Let's see if we can pull something maybe four plus today though i got a strong feeling this is a huge body of water these canals are just kind of like where it tapers down but this is a big lake and there's got to be some sizable fish in here so 
with that being the case let's try and find one for y'all creeping this thing nice and slow half ounce as opposed to the lighter sizes because i really want to be able to get down low there's some decent depth right here so it is definitely yeah like i mean i'm still not at the bottom so yeah probably five feet right here go to rod perfect for just about everything in your tackle box if you're trying to hit the banks and literally just carry one combo with you this is what you want right here yes sir uh, I think a handful of species, yeah, yeah. Really? Uh-huh. That's right. They're in there. We launched the kayaks. We, like, parked right up there and carried the kayaks down here. And dropped them in off this ledge, like, right over there. Did you get kicked out? <laughs> yeah, we got in trouble. Oh. The guy was like, I'm calling the cops. Well, the, or the police are on their way. They're going to take your gear and blah, blah, blah. I was really? like, God, dang. He, like, followed us to where we got out of the water. I don't want to see y'all here again, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just had a hit. I just had a hit, Becca. Oh my God, right out there, slow rolling in the deep. Get me the back out there. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm on vacation. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna switch to my left-handed reel since we're working this way now. I'm gonna go with the, the sauce. Work them on the bottom like a Texas rig if I want, I don't care. Now watch me work. What's I walk it out? Well, huh. huh? That could be the juice. This hey, cranking and spanking. It's a big one. I saw a big wake on the crank. Oh, she's taking. Oh, how, how much you think? How much you think? A four? That looked good. Dang. <laughs> ah, you kept them pinned too. I was fighting them so good. That I was, wasn't forcing it. Apart. Maybe I should tie on the other the other square bill option. I'm going for bass. No fish in here? So you just pressed it. Alright, appreciate you. No fish in here? Got it. He's, he, he walks up behind me. What you trying to catch? I said a break. <laughs> Wait, didn't they take all the locks off of that bridge in New York? Or I think they said it was like weighing the bridge down and getting too heavy, so they had to take locks off. Maybe it wasn't in New York. Where was that at, y'all? I thought they'd take the locks off that bridge. Let me know. Anyways, we just got kicked out. He asked me what I was fishing for and then said, you got to leave. I wonder what species I could have told him and he'd be like, okay, that's fine. Well, Wes and I just got kicked out of the last pond. Well, we've actually got kicked out of two ponds, but after we just got kicked out of the last one, we were driving to go to a new pond and Weston was like, oh my God, wait, I fished here before. And you definitely seen it in one of his videos. It's this cool little canal. You guys will see it in like a couple of seconds, but uh, we're going to fish here, hopefully slice some fish. I'm going to do a couple bait changes as well as him. Scared me. I lost my hook. I need a bait change too. <laughs> you watch you do yeah. Josh is baitless. <laughs> We're all screwed. This is really, basically to sum this up, this place is really sick and I want to go to a, like kind of like a cool urban spot and this is kind of it. So we're going to go crank some fish. No biggie. Stop doing that. Okay, y'all. Mini Creek. We're breaking out the drop shot here. There's plenty of fish to be caught. Last time we were here, Pond Boys and I tore them up, caught like five to ten a piece uh, out of nowhere. And I expect with a little finesse rig like this, overcast skies, the bite's been on today at every spot. Hopefully it's no different here. And it's literally, did I say this yet? It's crystal clear. It's like two feet deep. I don't know if there's gonna be any fish in this area of it, but as we get out into the open, I got a feeling we're definitely gonna get on something. I might catch bass, bluegill, who knows? I'm just throwing a little drop shot. Wacky rig might be the move too. Oh, Becca. Bass, bass. Got him, got him, I sight fished him. Here. I was, I was like calling you because there's a bass right here. Got him. Straight after it. He's thugging. I mean, he's, he's. Oh my gosh. Did not take long at all. Drop shot. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> Damn, they're so dark here. This water. Oh my gosh. He was like right off of that rock though. I saw him. I knew it was a done deal as soon as I dropped it in there. These bass are just like waiting for bugs and stuff to fall in from these trees right above us, guys. Absolutely smoked the dragon drop. Sick. Sick. <laughs> I didn't think there was going to be anything in here when we first came and fished yeah, it. You it just. just it yep. Like, yeah. Yep. Could you imagine like a frog here in the summer? Like get the, like all five bass that live in here? <laughs> I know there's some fish in here. Ah. <sighs> 
I think there's definitely like some bluegill and stuff in the next couple ones though. I mean, like we can catch something, I think. It wasn't locked last time. Well, I don't know where they went. That other pond by here has got like some five pounders in it that we could possibly catch. Well, we tried y'all. seems like there's definitely not as many fish as there was previously. Well, actually, there's so much cover on top of the water, like leaves and stuff. It's tough to see them. We definitely saw like a two to three pounder, but that was the extent of it. We pretty much saw two fish. So make a move down the street. Security. Woo, it's looking pretty good. Visibility's looking all right, y'all. Spot number three, lines in. Spinner bait. Oh, that's the fish. First cast. It feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. <laughs> First cast. Uh, we got a big and boys. As you cast it, feel good or something. I said, yeah, the clarity looks pretty good. No way the thing's actually. They want the sauce. That thing is huge, dude. Let's get a little story post. Saucy. The sauce. And to think we stayed at that last place for so long. All right, bud. We'll see you. Thank you for playing. Probably should have put that on the scale for extra. Becca just got one. Nice. I said I lost my swagger. I don't know. I haven't gotten any more bites. First, first cast done deal. In the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Becca, this is a big fish. Becca, this is a big fish. What is going on? This I've n I have not had a bass. This is a catfish or something. It's not this bad. is actually a big fish. This is literally a big fish, Becca. What is going on? This is not a bass. This is not a bass. Okay. I thought it was a tree. Okay. Oh my God, it's taking drag. It's a huge catfish, Becca. I do not know what this is right now. This is not. This is a catfish. Oh my God. What is this, Becca? Oh my God. What is this? For real. No, it's a catfish. It's a monster. This is a monster. Like, it took the rod out of my... This Dude, thing is dogging. This is the biggest... Uh, what is this? Dude, I don't know. What is this? We gotta... I gotta get away from these trees. A saucy swimmer. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> this is not a... It's just... It's just dead weight. It's a huge catfish. Oh my God. I don't want to catch a catfish. Yeah, you do. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Becca, this is a huge catfish. Are you gonna? I think you just gotta grab him by the mouth and <laughs> I don't know. I don't like catfish. Oh. There's, <laughs> there's, oh no way. there's no way. Oh there's no way. Oh there's no way. There's no way. Oh. That's like 15 pounds. Easy. Easy. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Saucy swimmer catches everything. You would not believe this. I thought that was the biggest bass I'd ever had on the hook. <laughs> never see. I've never caught a catfish that big. That's a, a, a blue cat, right? Yeah, I think so. You stuck him, dude. Like, you, you did not snap I was like, like this rod's thing. gonna break. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that hook is so trash. That hook got messed up. What just happened? Pick that up and hold it. I, I mean, I should, but I don't really care to. <laughs> I really don't That's care to. Cute. They are really not my favorite. <laughs> Just got smacked in the place. There he goes. Oh my, that's a mammoth. A freak of nature. How big is that? How big is that? Where's the scale? Oh my. I don't know, probably 15 or 20 pounds. It was very big. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we got any pictures. <laughs> well, it's a, a plastic like swimmer. Yeah. 
How big is that? <laughs> we weren't trying to get that type of fish. Yeah. We were trying to get bass. So yeah, the saucy swimmer is retired. <laughs> what we should have done, I could have ran over to the truck and got the scale. We could have like seen what it weighed. Yeah. That was huge. Never. That was, that was huge. That might have, that might have been 20 pounds. Wow. Here comes the phone calls. <laughs> I just got like a 20 pounder or some It was probably 20. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the pond that we came over with Torrance with the lunker logs that night. It was like a freight train. I thought I had a 10 pounder. I was like, there's probably a freaking mammoth in here and I got it. Look at your hook. My hook is just like bent out. Wow, Weston. On the saucy swimmer underspin hook. It's like bent up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Devin, Devin, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> my muscle rod like almost snapped it, it took me like a minute to land this there fish we go, there we go. becca's on oh. <laughs> she found his little cousin <laughs> becca got like a quarter pound bass just now <laughs> i should have ran to the truck and got the gripper scale but i didn't it, i should have waited it was it was huge it could have been 20 easily. it could have been 20 pounds there was also like a lot of people watching us that's true and like yeah. and i didn't want to like like because we're at that pond that we've been kicked out of like twice now and i didn't want to like run over to the truck and run back i was on the far side of the pond so anyways it was a show that's crazy yeah we're not gonna be here much longer i gotta edit girl <laughs> she becca says i gotta edit girl what if that was the biggest fish in this pond I think that was like, like how many catfish in here are that size? Beck is on with something good. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Someone said, I bet he's 25-ish. I do lots of catfishing and that's a good sized blue cat. Anything below a dime, you can have it. I was wondering, cause there's some lighter spots around here. Really? Wow. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Becca just said Weston bass on the bed. <laughs> I literally go Weston there's a bass on the bed and I put it. Becca, whoa, Becca, right here. A roamer. Oh my god, it's like two and a half pounds, three stop. pounds. Stop, Weston, come grab my fish. There's more come grab my fish. <laughs> it's not locked. He's right here right now. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up one of the craziest days fishing with Becca. Literally kind of started off slow, right? We went to a lot of spots, got kicked out. She lost a good fish. I felt bad because that was like right at the beginning of the trip and I'm like, oh no, she came all the way down here and lost like one of the bigger fish. Who knows if we'll get another chance to link up with something like that. Well, turns out the trip was a major success and she got on some serious fish. She actually pulled out like maybe a bigger fish in one of the later videos that's coming at you guys very soon. So don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on than I've probably ever caught out of the ponds here locally. Like we've caught some bigger fish on the lakes and stuff, but I mean, she catches a true pond giant, largemouth bass. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Also, the biggest catfish ever. Uh, Becca said that in today's video, that catfish was the biggest freshwater fish she had seen landed in her life. And for me, it was the biggest catfish I've ever pulled in. The thing was massive. I, we should have weighed it. It looks smaller on the GoPro, honestly. Like it's super wide angle, you guys know that. And it's down there by the bank and you really couldn't get a good feel for it. But the thing was humongous. I, I got a lot of DMs afterwards. I can say it was over 15 pounds, but I, I'm thinking it was pushing above 20. I think it was like right at or above 20. I had some folks saying that they catfish a lot. They were DMing me saying that thing could go for 25. I do a lot of catfishing and it's in like that 20 to 25 caliber. So I'm just going off what y'all have to say. I'm not telling you any tales. I'm not telling you what I think it was. I'm just saying I think it was 20. <laughs> and then by the way, Dangler merch, y'all. I was rocking it in a lot of the episodes when she was down south, as well as Becca. She was wearing a lot of the Dangler merch. If you're interested, code Weston saves 10% at GuggenSquad.com. With that, we are done with today's video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <gasps> Becca, this is a big fish. Becca, this is a big fish. What is going on? This, I've, I have not had a bass. This is a catfish or something.